Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zenwalk channel. Today, we're building the high grade Universal Century, the Shin Mazunaga Gerugugu Jenger. Uh, I did bought this like a long, uh, like a, uh, earlier in this year, and then I totally forgot that I bought one. Surprise! And uh, anyway, so th today we're gonna be building this. So, this is from the MSVR that is currently uh, in the comics comic store right now. Uh, go check that out. And. <clears throat> is the Johnny Riddens, uh, Riddler's Return, I think is from the series. And then, you know, at the side here this time, it's different because they got a, usually the premium man at the side is just war. This time they give you a picture of it. And at the other side, it's just exactly the same. And then at the side here is exactly the same. So not gonna talk too much. And then uh, we're just gonna open up the runners first and then let's take a look at it. All right, now let's take a look at this first. So this one is from the original Get A Goo Jenger. So it's basically just a recolor of the MS and then just release the supreme name bandai cool tricks right it's just the normal tricks that the bandai always do and uh it's from a 2004 get a good jenger model and then i just realized and i just quickly read through the instruction menu and i realized there is no sticker on the mono eye you actually have to paint it yourself <laughs> great um okay so we're just gonna you know quickly flip through it not really nothing really special all right so now let's get to the actual part but before i go to like as i talk to the runners and i'll say something like get a Gugu series deserve a revived version share this video out let ben i know get a Gugu series deserve a revived version all right done now this is first we're going to be having a b2 runner i believe this is the legs part the uh, most all like most of the parts legs part i'm not sure which part is this this is probably the backpack or something this is a B1 runner, so mainly the legs part, uh, shoulders part up here. We have the uh, torso part, the arms part, and thrusters. This is the uh, A runner. We can see the beam rival, the, the sniper rival thing. Uh, we can see the feet option, the um, the waist part here, the backpack joint, and then we can see some heads part here, and then the back waist. This is the C runner, mainly for the inner frames of the MS. We can see some hands join, some legs join, and then some kind of backpack feel here. And then we have some hands option at on the top here, with the thrusters connector here. And then we have uh, the torso part here. And then we also have some thrusters and then some small small parts on the goblin. And then now this is the now this is the uh, a runner back in the days beam saber and the handle is molded together so don't be surprised if you see something like this so back in the days like very old technology thing and then now we have the feet here and then the arms uh not the arms the hand and ex an open hand here and then we have the handcap armor and then we have the thrusters in the legs and we also have the kneecaps and polish caps and one sticker that basically is doing nothing so the mono eye as i said you have to paint it yourself anyway guys uh let's let's get to building and i'll see you guys at the review
guys, welcome back to the review of the Jin Masanaga Gerugugu Jenga review, and this is the finishing product. Uh, honestly, to say though, I understand this is kind of like a ripoff from Bandai because it's using a mold from like what 2004, something like that. Yeah, uh, and then just basically give it a little color repaint, uh, added an extra logo, and then call it a pretty near Bandai, uh, which basically you can just, you know, buy yourself some gray paint and white paint and then do it yourself but anyway i still bought it i technically if you really want me to rank it i would say this is probably the second most rip off gamma after the gabra tatala from the build uh build uh the gundam build fighters the pinky one uh which i did a review on before um, but anyway, I still bought it. Uh, I really wish that Man I actually give us a RG Gerugugu series because, you know, Gerugugu have so many variants and so many ace pilot actually, you know, get one Gerugugu and pilot it. So if you, so if Man I decide to make an RG Gerugugu, I think they're still, still gonna milk a lot of money from premium Bandai's. Uh, yeah. That's my suggestion. There you go, Bandai. Share this video to them. Tell them to make an RG Gerugugu. Make it a head start. Get those variations. But anyway, we, now, I'm kind of like running away from the topic now. Back to the topic. So this is a 2004 kit. So of course, the color separation is terrifying. <laughs> it's horrible, but okay. Uh, but I still but I still got my hands on it. So uh, let's just equip that. And I also need to say, though, back in 2004, there, the, assem the assemble quality is kind of trash. Like, when I try to snap this legs together, it always leaves a gap like this. So if you turn it to the back and you look at it at the front, there's a little gap there which I can't, which I cannot fix it. I cannot push in, and I just have to leave it like that. And may I say though, Ben, can you stop? Can you stop giving a sticker like this? The sticker doesn't even stick on it. Uh, anyways, okay, enough complaints. Let's go into the review first. Let's start with the head, so the head can turn around. Oh, and this is the thing that I don't like. Whenever you turn your head, this little back piece, the there's a little piece at, on the on the back of the head will pop out. So when you turn your head, uh, it can turn about. Uh, it's it can it's three sixty movable, and there's a mono eye in it, but it's very hard to see. I have to put under the light just to let you see it. Uh, the head itself, you don't have to repaint that much. Just you have to repaint the side of the head because uh the Vulcan, the Vulcan gun on the head is supposed to be gray, and it doesn't give you in the kit. So the only thing that you need to wear on the head is uh if you really want the detail just repaint it next up we're talking about the torso so the torso is a pretty typical get a goo goo torso the only thing you need to do is just uh getting those black paint into all the gaps between the thrusters there's not much to talk about uh, i would say that the only part that doesn't require uh, repainting is probably the torso because the torso they already did the color separation for you already so I would say though, the torso is probably the part that which they did the colors right. Next up, the shoulders. Uh, one thing that I'm very happy about is 2004, they still remember they give you the little extra color separation on the shoulders. Uh, the thrusters on the side of the shoulders is uh, the inside is red, so you have to repaint it again. Uh, same one here, that's supposed to be black on this little thruster here, but <clears throat> then I didn't give you, give you any of that. Uh, so right now I'm holding a uh, sniper rival, I believe, uh, because there's no other option, no other option other than the beam saber holding hand for the uh, right, for the right hand. And as you can see here, each arm got a little small gray part in the in the arms, and that is the color separation. Uh, I must say though, I'm pretty happy about that. You don't have to repaint it. The maximum you can bend is 90 degrees, and then the hands down here you can twist around. You can you can twist around <coughs> on the upper on the upper uh, no on the lower arms as well. Um, maximum you can lift is this much because the shoulders doesn't give you any any moving options. So basically, the arms articulation is pretty bad, and we just have to live with it. Next up, we're gonna talk about the waist. So the waist here, you need to do some repainting first. Uh, the the corner of this little thruster down here is white and inside is supposed to be red so good luck on repainting that um, the the front skirt can be lifted up nine degrees and then also whoop, let me just move away the hand first so a side skirt can lift up a little bit so you can add a, less, a bit extra movement but unfortunately the legs is ball joint so you cannot so basically there's no way to kick to the side and then you know if we turn it to the back 
We turn it to the back, you can see there's the thrusters in here. You need to repaint it to red inside, and then we flip it and then we flip it back again to the back waist. Um uh, special thing about it, I did really uh admire the, the the part where they give you this color separation on the waist because uh the thrusters, if it's even older, I don't think they would give you extra part for that. But uh anyways, just like the just like the other parts of it, uh you have to repaint it to red. So good luck on repainting that. Next up, we're gonna take a look of the legs. So the legs first is cannot bend too much. This is the this is like literally the maximum you can bend. This much done and then you know the feet down here is a ball joint so of course you can adjust to the position and bottom of the legs you're supposed to paint it to red this part here you're supposed to be red and uh the rest of it i'll just give no comments about it uh the legs can kick to the side kick to the back for literally none kick to the front a little bit like this this much and then you can kick to the side literally like no so the the articulation is very limited on the legs so you know, it's a 2004 Gampler that, you know, brought back to life in 2001. So, oh, I mean, to, <laughs> what I'm saying, 2018, like back when I bought it. So, of course, it's going to be bad. And if you look carefully, there's a there's three thrusters in it. I don't know, can you see it or not? It's very hard to put it on the camera. Anyways, there's three, thrust, there's three thruster here that you can paint it back to red. And it's basically, it, get, it was given articulation to move, but it's so... It was so deep inside the legs armor, so you basically can't really move it. I don't know what's the point for it, but anyways, I forgot to mention the torso. Uh, it can move. It can move about forty-five to the size. So basically, all the articulation on this gunpla is limited. Take a look on the backpack. So there's two fill, fill, uh, fill tanks. You can move. Move side to side like this. And then all of the thrusters on it, of course, you have to repaint it to red inside. So good luck on uh, repainting that because I, I, I seriously have enough of it. And, you know, this is pre pretty much the backpack. It's nothing else. Uh, the only thing that you need to watch out is this antenna is just don't break it when you try to push in because it's pretty hard to push in. So please be careful when you're trying to push in. And that's pretty much the whole gamble body. The accessory part, we have a lot. So first we have, uh, beam sabers, which you have to paint the handle to white. This is, it is pretty ridiculous. Um, and you know, you have two extra hands to hold it. So that's good. And next one, we have two different open hands. So this two open hands is different. Oops. This one is literally an open hand. This is a open hand that you can hold the sniper rifle with it. And I think this is a pretty good one. It's pretty good design. I wish they give, I wish they actually give the same kind of hands to the gym sniper one because it's the gym snipers two is literally just an open hand and you can't even hold the gun properly. I wish they actually Bandai like mold the extra one for the gym snipers. But okay, well, we have to accept the fact. Uh, anyways, this is probably the accessory part. There's not much to talk about. This is like a, this is, uh, as I said, this is like a rip off, rip off deal. So, you know, if you have the paint, repaint it. Just repaint it, trust me. So this is pretty much the review of the Get a Blue Jenga. There's not really much to talk about. It's not, you know, very exciting gamma that gives you a, you know, a head to toes um, update. It's just using the old mode. They don't really give you the new parts. They just, you know, rip that off from another one, rip that off from another uh, runner and just call it a new release fine uh, but anyways this is the end of the review hope you guys enjoyed this uh i honestly need to say though ben i need to stop doing this kind of rip off deal like t putting like taking a design from 2003 2004 like the very early years when they haven't developed the model um quality or the assemble quality and then just bring it back to 2019 call it new release stop doing that you know it's pretty annoying but anyways um I would just say though, if you have the pain, just repaint it yourself. Trust me, just saves you great, like saves you a great amount of money. Uh, like after I built this thing, I just want my I just want my money back because you know I was, you know I was purely expecting there's gonna be new things, but the new things apparently is just ripping off from another runner and gives you a new and it gives you some kind of couple hands option, and that's pretty much it. Well, anyways, this is the end of the review and um. Uh, make sure to like my videos and subscribe to my channel for more new contents and i'll see you guys in another gamma review goodbye